back with another video what's good it's your boy caleb man and if you're new to the channel definitely consider hitting that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss no uploads and check out this playlist right here if you want to see me making more offers or the previous videos i put out make sure you hit that like button and make sure you comment if you have any feedback um and just a real quick thought this is the book that i'm reading right now let's let's let it focus it's the magic of thinking big um let me know i want to know what books y'all reading right now if you read this one or if you're reading something similar definitely let me know in the comments below we can have a chat about that um let's get right into the video hello hey good morning i was calling about this place in cambridge you got on zillow yeah who am i speaking with this is caleb how's it going are you with um uh, like an investment company or well not with an investment company. I am an investor, though, yes. Okay. Hey, um, can you... What, what do you look... I'm at work right now, so... Okay. I'm, so, is it yeah. a better time we can talk? I just wanted to kind of ask a few questions about this place. I was interested in, you know, possibly yes. submitting a cash offer on it. Yeah, so the the least I just came down about fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000. i am willing to take... 139 and that's my bottom. That's your bottom I won't one is. go any lower. I'm getting ready to list with the realty company here in the next week if I can't sell it. Okay, got you. So, well, yep. well, yeah, I'm, I was interested. I just wanted to, you know, ask a few questions about overall condition and some of the, you know, the tenants that you had in here or, you know, how was this kind of, because you said it could be a duplex, triplex, so kind of want to get a little bit more information about the layout, if it's a split. So is there a better time that I can give you a call back here? Um, you can give me a call back this evening sometime, like 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. All right. Hi. And, and what, what is your Thank name? You. My name's Crystal. All right, Crystal. I'll talk to you later on this afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Hello? Hey, how's it going? I was calling about this place you got on Zillow. Um, looking at it in Youngstown. Yes, Clarence Dale Avenue. Yeah, absolutely. How's it going today, man? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. So my name is Caleb. I was interested in... You know, just getting a little bit more information on it. I am an investor um, looking to, you know, possibly put a cash offer. Is now a bad time to speak? Oh, no, no, I'm free. Go okay, ahead. awesome. Whatever what questions you have, I'll be glad to answer. What's your name? Jay. Jay? Yes. Okay, and again, I'm Caleb. Nice to meet you, Jay. So, you too. I mean, this, this looks like a solid place, man. I mean, was this a rental for you or a primary residence? What's going on? No, it's a friend of mine owns it. She's uh, I've been friends with her for many, many years, and okay. she's lived in the house since 1994. She's been disabled all of her life, so um, she lived by herself. And uh, lately, she's uh, been in a nursing home, and so she's mm. probably not going to be able to come home. So we put her house up for sale. So, so yeah, she's owned it for the 30 years, and uh, you know, like I mentioned in the in the Zillow note, she's you know, she was just one person living there as a sole occupant, so she didn't really impose a lot of wear and tear on the place right so it's been a nice place for her. i mean you know it's 103 years old it's not perfect or anything like that right. it's just one of the nice older homes that was built in the nice era when things were did have good pretty good craftsmanship so gotcha. um you know it's in it's in overall in pretty pretty good shape yeah I, I think it is um in really good shape especially for this area um but we're looking for you know we are looking for value add properties you know, um, things we can go in, kind of fix up. And just to let you know how we work is just myself and another partner kind of team up to, you know, purchase these properties, either to fix them up and flip them or, you know, keep them as a rental. Um, and we're always just looking to buy more. So I came across this listing, just figured I'd reach out, get some information on it, see if, you know, our interests align. And if it does, you know, I'll be able to get you an offer on it by the end of this call. And if not, we'll at least have a, you know, great conversation about it and, you know, move forward as friends. <laughs> No, that's no problem. No, whatever information you need about it, I'll be glad to, to give it to you. And if you want to awesome. send an offer in, I'll take a look at that also. Okay, awesome. So you're you, you were, you're the point on this um, as oh, far yes. as getting yes. this sold? Mm -hmm. Okay. And are you an agent or something, or you know, what's your role in that? No, no, but I am a lawyer by profession. So oh, nice. I've dealt okay. with many real estate transactions before. Perfect, perfect. Well, um, I mean, so tell me a little bit about this area. I mean, is it mostly homeowners over here or is it like a strong rentals? No, I believe there's a, there's one rental property next door. Okay. Uh, it had been rented out about, I think about three years ago. And I think the 
same people are still in it. That's on the one side. On the other side, there's a elderly lady who's lived there for many years, and uh, mm-hmm. she's a real nice neighbor. I've met her many times, and, and she's really nice. So it's kind of so in in between like neighbors, a mixed market. It's quiet. There's no no commotion or anything like that. Everything's pretty quiet. Okay, the awesome. street itself, I don't. I'm not really sure how many of the properties on the street are rental properties. It looks like there's been pretty good stability on the street. I don't think there's okay. been a high turnover of properties over the years there. So I think a good number of them are still owned by, uh, by the for people who reside in them. Right. So, I mean, so what's the main reason, you know, she's looking to sell right now? Is it just because she's in, you know, in that nursing home and just to cover some bills? What's going on with that? Yeah, she's in the nursing home and, and because of her disability, she probably won't ever be able to come home and live on her own again. So, um, mm, she gotcha. probably will just stay in the nursing home for an indefinite period. Um, but no, all of her bills are covered. I mean, the house okay. is free and clear. Awesome. And, uh, you know, she's, everything's good with that. So, um, the, the other issue, I guess, is as she lived there many years, she didn't really upgrade her, uh, appliances for okay. example her refrigerator and stuff so we just really took that stuff out because it, it was pretty old and we figured well whoever wants to buy the property will just want to upgrade the appliances right so, so we don't really have that in there be so besides the appliances i mean just in your opinion you know what should else should i go in and fix up well it, it really doesn't need a lot fixed up because uh, you know after we got eileen moved out we we went in and just, you know how it is after you lived in a certain place, mm-hmm. you accumulate a lot of things, clothing and boxes and things. So we just cleaned everything out okay. and just freshened it up a little bit. There was a slight leak coming from the chimney that we had to fix. There was a little bit of water trickling in, but we've taken care of that too. Okay. Um, the basement's perfectly dry. It's never it never had a leak or anything like that. It's, it's a, in a good area as far as stuff. Uh, you know, water tables and water control. So there's never been a problem in the basement with that. Um, I guess the other downside is it just has one bathroom. Up. Yeah, because I mean, this bathroom I see it has a stand-in shower, so no tub, and it's a you know, it's kind of a tight layout in there. It's a small bathroom. Yeah, yeah it's a that's small just bathroom. Kind of the way one. they used to design those homes back yeah. then. I know I couldn't survive in a small bathroom like that. I need, <laughs> I need to have space. To yeah, I would have to have some person. room in there. You know, get my business going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just for, you know, put your sh- set your shaving cream down and your other stuff. Yeah, and absolutely. Dry. You know, sometimes you need some more room, but that's just the way they built back then. You know, okay. Were, they didn't have hair dryers back then. Huh? <laughs> right. Uh, and, and people were much smaller, you know. Um, well, I think that's it, yeah. So, so, I mean, what's, just to go over briefly some of the overall condition, do you know how old the roof is? Not exactly. When uh, Eileen moved in about thirty years ago, um, I think she actually I think she had the roof replaced maybe twenty years ago. So I would guess it's it's about twenty years. Okay. It, it hasn't leaked though. Other than I mentioned that there, there was a, that slight leak coming in the chimney, but mm-hmm. the roof itself is is holding up pretty well. It might need replaced in a couple of years. You know, roofs have a certain life expectancy, and I would right. guess maybe in five or ten years it probably would need replace but so far so good there's there's really no leaks in the roof okay awesome and what about what about the windows on this windows, windows original just the originals yeah she okay. hasn't upgraded the windows or anything like that there's still the original windows that have been there okay and do you know when the let uh the electrical has been replaced or updated like the panel box or service? She's, no, since since she's been there, I don't think she's had the box updated or anything okay. like that. I think it's still the same box that she bought uh, bought the house with. Okay, and then there's no you know foundation issues, no slopes in the floor, nothing, no cracks in the in that basement. I I think there is a, I think there has been a slight shifting. I'm not sure okay. how much it is, but we noticed uh, there. It looks like. There might possibly be a slight leaning there, but we're not sure. But it looks like it might have shifted okay. a little bit. And is that you coming really from? By the, is by that the coming from the press. corners, or where where would that that slight shifting be? I think it's toward the back of the house. Toward the back of the house. Okay. Yeah. All righty. I don't um, think it was a huge shift, but it's just uh, you could just it's see just that settled it, from it, the it, t- it over time. In one bedroom. There was a crack like in the ceiling in the one bedroom, and so what, that's what we were figuring that the. House might have shifted a little bit toward the back. Okay. Okay. And then did you, I'm sure you guys talked about, 
you know, price. I mean, um, I'm an investor, so, you know, I'm coming in cash. I don't need any finance and contingencies or, you know, I'm flexible with closing. I don't know what your timeline is for getting something accepted and closed on, you know, but what, what, uh, you know, how soon would she be looking to, you know, get something done? Oh, I could close pretty quickly on it. Probably, you know, if I had to say within about a week or so. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, once we did the paperwork and you know, if you sent a, a purchase agreement up to me, I could take a look at it. And after the purchase agreement was signed, then, yeah, we can close pretty quickly after okay. that. Awesome. And there will be minimal closing costs because, well, you know, I mean, I can handle the escrow myself and, and take care of that stuff. So we don't have to hire necessarily. Now you can have, well, I guess we could have a title company do it if you want to do it that way. Also, yeah, I will. Make sure you've got free and clear. Right. Absolutely. Title, and title insurance. Yeah. So we could, we could just have the title company do the escrow. Okay. And so, so I mean, assuming I'm, I'm, I'm coming in all cash, I'll pay the closing costs, you know, so it's no out of pocket expenses for you guys. You know, I'm taking it completely as is. You don't have to, you know, make any repairs. I mean, what, uh, what would you say that you guys absolutely need to walk away with on this? Gosh, you know, I'm not really sure because we just listed it the other day. So right. I've had you know, quite a few calls on it. So okay. I don't really want to commit to an exact number. No, I just want to see, you know, maybe see how a couple offers come in and see what okay. the trends are. Um, okay, so you're I just mean, so kind of fi- getting the house, fillers out? Pardon me? I said, so you're just putting fillers out, seeing, you know, see when's the highest and best you can get? Yeah, that's okay. it. Because uh, yeah, it's only been on Zillow for a couple of days, and we thought right. we'd just see what the offers look like. So I, I don't want to commit to an exact number right now, but I'm sure we would be flexible in the price. There's, okay. You know, nobody ever, you know, almost every house always, you know, there's always a give and take and negotiation. Okay. So I'm sure we would not insist on the full asking price. But, um, you know, yeah. it just depends. I mean, if, if other investors come in who, who might want to do the same deal also, then, yeah, then the price will hold firm. But right. it just depends on. Okay, so because and I only ask because we have a you know we have a couple different ways we can acquire these properties, you know, um, and then far as a number, you you typically always have a number in mind, and if we can you know get as close to you know close as possible to that number, then that way you know you don't have to deal with a bunch of you know just talking to a whole bunch of people on this, do a bunch of showings. If we can get you what you're looking for, you know, and close this out in a few weeks, that would be the best possible situation for us and for you you as well, you know. Um, that's why I oh, always sure. ask, you know, what's that number? That way we can see if we can get this qualified for that um, and, and, you know, get your number on this call. So if you don't mind, I mean, what I can do is, I, you know, I have my underwriters looking at this. Um, and they're just, you know, running the CMA comparable market analysis and just going to tell me what similar homes has been selling for recently. Do you mind if I put you on a really brief hold, Jay, while I run back here and see what numbers they got for me? Yes, no problem. All right. Give me one second. Hey, Jay. Yes. All righty, man. So, um, this did get approved, you know, to fit in what we're looking for. Um, you know, we, we had a couple comps that we pulled up that we kind of referenced, you know, something similar that we'll be trying to aim for. It's the, uh, and I don't know if you've seen any, any of the comps. Um, oh yeah, I've looked on, I've looked at all the homes for sale in that area. So okay. I'm pretty familiar with what they're going for. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So we're looking to, you know, put a, at least like 30 into it just to update it. You know, do a new roof, um, new siding, some exterior work, you know, new kitchens, new bath uh, appliances and looking to actually add an additional bath in that basement. See how that layout is. Um, but with that being said, I mean, we're we're able to offer 55 on this um, and we're looking to, you know, get it closed out in the we can do, you know, no less than three weeks. You know, like I said, we cover all the closing costs and there's no realtor commissions or anything else coming out of pocket. So that number will be net to you guys if that's something you, you're looking to move forward on. Well, I think right now it's too early for me to accept an offer that's that far below the asking price. So okay. I would have to say for now, I, I just would have to decline that because we have to see what other offers that we're going to get in. And like I said, it's only been up for three days and I'm getting other inquiries too. So okay. I just have to see what the market will bear. And I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll get more than 55. Okay. And do you, address. do you have any showing schedule for this or, you know, you got it? Oh, any... yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're showing it uh, Thursday, actually. Okay. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd love to, to come in um, and, and, you know, close this one out for you guys. I know it's a bit lower than what you're looking for, but if we can, if you could at least have a conversation and say, hey, look, you know, I got an investor who's coming in at, you know, around 55, we get this closed out in a few weeks, you know, just to see where, 
you know, where the interest is. Um, and, you know, we can get back on the phone here and put something together. Well, if you want to follow up in about a week or so and see where we stand, then, you know, I'll be glad to talk with you again. But, um, you know, right now, 55 is just not nearly what we're asking for. Okay. So did you have a number in mind that you wanted, you know, that you had to at least walk away with or what, what was that? Yeah, I'm not really sure because, like you said, the comparables in that area are kind of all over the board. There's some really good ones and some that are uh, below what we're asking. So I guess I'm just going to see what the market will bear on this and just see what right. uh, input I get from the real. I'm, you know, I'm getting a lot of calls from realtors or, and other just people who are looking for a, a place right. actually to live. Right, so, so um, the the to... the ones that are close, just to speak on comps, the ones that are close to this, you know, this square footage. I mean, they are coming in at the sixty to sixty five range. You know, not much more than that. Um, you will have to put, you know, some serious work into it to get it even close. You know, to pass that eighty mark, and then you got another one that's on Rush Boulevard that just sold for eighty. But I mean, it's twenty one hundred square feet. So to uh-huh. even compete at that number, you you have to double the size of you know what I'm saying of the size of this property. So if you got two story, you know, twenty one hundred square feet property selling for eighty, and you're at ninety, you know, it, it's to be realistic on a you know on a on a purchase price i will have to be conservative anywhere around that you know that 60 mark that's why our numbers are coming in where they are i mean and at the end of the day if it doesn't work it doesn't work but i mean if we can put something together in a week like i said i'll follow up with you see where things are you know and if that and that sure. that um those numbers are coming in conservative you know i'll love to you know have that conversation with you yeah, that sounds good. I mean, that's the best way to handle. It. Like I said, I just need to give it a little more time and see see what uh, other how other calls are going on this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate your time today, Jay. I'm gonna hop on the next call. Uh, I'll follow up with you in a couple of days and just see where we are on it. All right, that sounds good. Well, thanks for calling. All right, man. You have a good one. You too. Bye. 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 So I don't know how I kind of feel about that conversation. Being that he's not the decision maker, it's kind of hard to kind of negotiate on numbers, going back and forth with, you know, any of the tactics. But this is going to wrap up the video. If you have any feedback, please feel free to comment. Um, and y'all been going crazy on engagement. So those who recently subscribed, I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment if you have any feedback. If you have any questions for me, I'll leave my Instagram in the description below. And uh, you already know, I'm going to see you on the next one.